Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take a 99 cent bottle of Sprite and turn it into an alcohol stove. Thanks for watching. Alright, so get yourself a permanent marker and make two lines on the bottle. You want to basically use the bottom line to determine how tall the stove will be and then the top will be marked based on that. Put a piece of tape across it and you're going to put two black marks, one on the very bottom and then one on the mark you made that will determine the height of the stove. And then transfer that tape over to the mark you made on the other side and you'll use the second mark on the tape to determine how long to actually make that piece. And just get yourself a piece of wood or something that will allow you to spin the bottle around and easily make the second mark up top which will give you the final length of the top piece. Now I just put a couple X's here so that I know what's going to be cut out. Next thing we're going to do is mark the lines or the spots for the individual jets. Now I just use a piece of tape again and put one mark on one side and put a corresponding mark on the other end. And when you unroll it and you put it down, you basically get the length of the bottle around the circumference. I like to use about a half inch between each mark, so just go down the line and mark every half inch. And this is where you're going to drill your holes for your jets. Now when you put it back on, make sure you put it down low enough so that the jets will be underneath where the top and bottom pieces come together to create the seal. There you go, you've got the nice marks. And we're going to head over to the drill press. Now use the smallest bit you have. I used a 1 16th inch bit to make my holes. Pull off the tape and you have very nicely made and clean holes for your jets. I used a bandsaw, you want to be very careful here, hold it very tightly because this thing being round can spin out on you very easily, but it was right there and it's easy if you do it carefully, you'll be fine. Then to get close to the lines, I use a good pair of tin snips and you can easily cut through this and make really, really good crisp edges. Now when you invert this over, you'll see here, so you invert it in, you can see what I meant as far as making the jets low enough so that they don't get clogged up by the top of that piece of aluminum. Now here I've got a V-shaped file, and you're just going to file in some notches here, and that's going to allow the alcohol to come up on the outside of the uh, aluminum and go up to the jets to create the jet action. There you go. So I just got a little bit of sandpaper, rough sandpaper, in particular on the inside, there's a lot of jagged edges from drilling through the aluminum. Just clean up all your edges and make sure they're smooth and safe. So I'm ready to do the initial press fit. So I just use a piece of wood and push down on it. You can use a vise, but with this low gauge aluminum, it's pretty easy to push in. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Do a quick weigh. This is the original cat can stove. It's 25 grams, and my new stove is 14 grams. So that's a pretty good difference if it performs as well or better than the cat can stove. So I didn't measure this out. I just put some alcohol in. It did take around 30 seconds to bloom, like I noticed. Now, in further testing of this stove, it blooms much, much faster. Uh, you don't have to use anything around it uh, as far as dropping any alcohol around it to help preheat it. Initially I put this uh, pot stand and I used it and it worked well but I figured out later I don't actually need the pot stand. I didn't know if it would work well without it but it worked just fine. But here's a nice blue flame you can see it it burns very cleanly. So we have one ounce of denatured alcohol. Let's put it to the test a little bit. This is exactly one ounce. Now this test is going to be a little bit misleading because there's no pot on it. When you put the pot on it, it actually makes the alcohol last quite a bit longer. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So I didn't start the timer until I got a bloom. You can see the lot of the alcohol just burns from the center. And when you make the alcohol only burn from the vents, it works much, much better and lasts much longer. 
in fact about twice as long on one ounce of fuel but I was just doing a preliminary test here so as you can see it's starting to die down I got about 8 minutes 45 seconds worth of burn time with nothing on top of it now I decided to try something the cat can stove has carbon felt in it so I said well what if I put a ring of carbon felt on the inside so that's exactly what I did. I cut it down to make sure it doesn't interfere with the jets. We're gonna go with another ounce of fuel. Light it up and we're gonna do the same thing. Now you can see that it's a little bit more yellow flame here. As I noted, the impurities, I think probably in the carbon felt take a little while to burn off. You can see it start to burn a little cleaner now. And I can say that with every burn, it's gotten better and better. Now it creates just a perfectly blue flame, much more like this. So very, very similar times. I decided to keep the carbon felt and I think it really, in the end, after I've used this more, worked much better. Now I did do a test with a pot on it. You can see with no um, pot stand and it burned for a solid 14 and a half, almost 15 minutes, actually over 15 minutes it burned. So I decided to put a little bit of JB Weld on the inside just to create a little bit of a seal. And again, I think that after this cured, it worked even better than before. Make sure you don't plug those holes with the JB Weld though. I did plug one, I had to go back and fix it. So there it is, simple 14 gram stove, really happy with it. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in to Paleo Hiker MD. Look forward to doing more videos like this. I hope you guys will go out there and do some of this on your own. If you do, find me on Instagram, post pictures, that would be great. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate everyone's input and support here on the channel. And look forward to more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD. Thanks, guys.